Continuing our discussion with Python and SQL, uh, I just want to go over here are some um, SQL statements. Uh, I really like this website, this W3 Schools. Uh, they have a, a section just for doing a, a tutorial on uh, SQL. I think it's uh, really easy to understand, very useful website. I highly recommend you take a moment and, and look over this website. If nothing else, just so you're familiar with it for reference for later. So with SQL, we're looking at the select statement. This is used to uh, select the data from the database, and it's going to be returned as the result set. So when we say select everything from your table name, um, that's fine. It'll give you every single uh, field out of that table. You could also say just select uh, this field and this field from the, the table name, which if you think about it like, um, say, in a, a spreadsheet type format, that would be column one, column two uh, from that table name. So I, I think, again, this is should be review for SQL. Counting uh, is just an SQL function that's going to return how many uh, records match that criteria. So if I said um, select um, a count of manufacturers from wireless where manufacturer equals Apple, it would give me that count. You know, how many Apple manufacturers there are. Or maybe I could say select count manufacturer name from table wireless where um, altitude greater than a thousand feet. And it would tell, it would return all the different uh, manufacturers with a count of, of each one of those uh, that met that condition. So count is a very powerful SQL statement. So is average. Uh, so average with, with SQL, again, instead of, you know, um, individual item counts, it's going to give you uh, the average of um, some column where it meets a certain condition. Order by is just when you're going to get your result set out or your output from your SQL, how do you want it ordered? Um, you can have it ascending or descending. So you can say order by, uh, maybe you want manufacturers alphabetical. Um, maybe you want to order by how many counts there are. Um, maybe you want it ordered by, uh, you know, manufacturer ID, or maybe you want it ordered by Mac address. It, it just, it, it's, it's order by whatever field you want in either ascending or descending. So, um, increasing or decreasing order. Um, group by is also really nice because you can um, aggregate different functions or use your aggregate functions like count, max, min, um, average, and then group um, those by that. So again, we were talking about grouping by manufacturer. So it, it puts all the Apple manufacturers together, all the Cisco manufacturers together. And you can count that. So how many Apple, how many Cisco, um, that sort of thing. So count is a, is a, I'm sorry, group by is also a very powerful SQL statement when we're looking at our result set. So here's um, just an example. So we could say uh, select uh, certain columns from uh, a particular uh, table out of a database where a certain condition happens and we're going to group it by something and order it by something else. So you could imagine this, this hypothetical scenario. Uh, we're going to select uh, the customer IDs in the country and country. So that's going to be our result set. That's going to be the output. And, but what we're actually doing is we're, yeah, we're using customer ID, but it's just as a unique identifier. So we're selecting the count of the unique identifiers for each country. So selecting the count 
of how many people are in each country from the customer's table. Um, and we're going to group it by country. So instead of um, each individual country being listed for every single customer ID, we're going to group it by the country. So it puts all the countries together. And then the final output is going to be ordered by the count or the number of customers in that country. And we're going to, we're going to um, order that descending. So what, what you can imagine what that output might be would be a list of um, the ranked country names followed by, well, I should say it, should, it would be a number um, of, of number of customers followed by the country name. 